from Hobart and William Smith Colleges. This is Meet the Campus with John Hebe. This week, we'll step into the studio with Associate Professor of Dance, Cadence Whittier, sit down with William Smith Sr. Yasmin Kalik, and visit the office of Political Science Professor Kevin Dunn. So join me this week and every week for Meet the Campus, where we report and you decide. With courses ranging from anatomy and kinesiology to arts and the human development, Associate Professor of Dance Cadence Whittier teaches her students to see their discipline from multiple perspectives. So I'll experience failing and falling over and tripping or messing up a sequence or not getting a concept. And I'm just really enjoying that, that practice of then how do I figure it out? And so when I ended up going to college, it just made sense. I really wanted to major in dance, and I danced in companies in college, and uh, my passion just continued to grow. So I think it was just the perfect discipline for me. It tamed my energy and uh, focused it in many exciting ways. To be physically connected in our bodies again, I think provides a wonderful kinesthetic learning experience that's it's absolutely crucial in a liberal arts setting. So students come to know themselves in many different ways. Who they are as movers, who they are as thinkers, who they are as artists and creators. So I think that imaginative, kinesthetic, creative knowledge is, is really important in liberal arts. A double major in environmental studies and studio art, William Smith Sr. Yasmin Kalik is designing an eco-friendly fashion line that she hopes will inspire and educate people. I went to a performing arts high school and I could have easily gone to an art conservatory but the reason why I chose Hobart and William Smith was because I was looking for a liberal arts education. I wanted to do two different things and Hobart allowed me to take both science classes and art classes. I was really interested in taking environmental science classes. My junior year I took a class called Geography of Garbage but I felt that most people uh, when they think about garbage and all that stuff. They don't want to like think about something like that. It's not a pleasant issue that they want to like talk about. So I felt like using art would be the best way to like reach an audience that normally wouldn't be concerned about issues of the environment. And I used the fashion industry to do that. A lot of the themes in our in our fashion show has been recycling materials that we've used in the past. I've gotten to work really closely with professors. I've done four independent studies here. Um, exactly what I want to do and created my own like subjects and like point of interest with these professors. An expert in politics and international relations, Professor of Political Science Kevin Dunn looks to the punk rock movement to explore the role of anti-status quo attitudes in political action. So I try and write and be active in different uh, communities and different audiences asking these questions about punk and politics. So that's actually uh, the poster for the theatrical release of the documentary I did called My Life is Great, the Stevie Stiletto story about my uh, hometown uh, punk rock band. And in that documentary, some of the issues that I'm interested in about uh, punk and the politics of punk come out. The idea of a do-it-yourself uh, ethos uh, and also about disalienation. One of the issues of disalienation is to recognize that you are um, an active member of, of the world community and to stop being a passive consumer but an active producer. Um, and within my classes I try and convey that as well for students to start thinking of themselves as not passive observers to the world of politics around them, but actually recognizing that they're actually an active role uh, in the world around them, the politics around them. Thanks for watching and join me next week for another edition of Meet the Campus. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.